Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to this channel, this is Outdoors with Creed, where I talk about uh, fishing gear, hunting gear, uh, as well as some tactical shooting. And every now and then I will throw in um, weightlifting stuff, uh, supplements and stuff like that. So that's what my channel is about. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure you please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell. So you get notified every time I put out a video. Um, every now and then I will do some kind of a contest giveaway. The last time I did a giveaway on a six gill Creus reel. Uh, I think that one I had set up with uh, the, the ball bearing system and everything. So pretty cool giveaway, you know, pretty cool setup. And all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and then I will pick a random winner. Haven't done that one in a while. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some other kind of a giveaway. I haven't really thought of how I want to do the contest, so be looking out for that. So what I want to talk about today, uh, my last video I talked about where me and my family went on a vacation and a lure that I was using. I, I've seen the lure whenever I'm watching the um, Bassmaster Elite tournaments or the Major League Fishing tournaments. I've seen this lure used a lot. I just never threw it uh, personally until I got one in my monster bass box and I tied it on and I was using it and I caught quite a quite a few fish uh, the fish none of them were really big fish I think the biggest one was maybe you know it maybe weighed in somewhere around a pound maybe a pound and a couple of ounces but the the best part about that whole thing was uh, first time using that lure and the excitement that I was getting every time I got a fish, it was it was like rediscovering the love of fishing. So uh, let me go ahead and talk about what I got here. So right here is a Zipco 33 telescopic rod. I got this at Walmart. It came with a different reel. I took the reel off. Uh, the reel that I had on here, I believe, was a, a, a six gill Typhoon reel that I somehow, I broke it. Uh, one of the guides that's on here had came out of its uh, spot and when I was out fishing with it, it got stuck down up in here and it damaged the gear down here and it, can't, it doesn't work anymore. So I swapped it out, put a new reel on here. This is a six gill uh, Cyclone reel. This is one of their older models. They have new models out. Uh, click the link down below, go to Six Gill, check out their new reels and stuff. Uh, I believe their they're Creus reels, which is one of my favorite reels that they have. I think they're doing, I think they're, they're, they're not going to make that model anymore. So they're doing like basically a big closeout sale on those. So you might want to jump over there and check that out. But this is a Six Gill uh, Cyclone reel, 7-1 gear ratio. Uh, I can't even remember what line I've got on here, but the lure that we're gonna talk about is this one right here. This is the River to Seas Whopper Plopper. Um, I am not sure what size this is. As you can see, it is one of their smaller size. They do have some that are a little bit longer. I don't even know what color this is because I had thrown the package away already when I was using it. Uh, this is their 75F. So basically this is a top water lure and as you're reeling it on top, this little propeller right here, see if I can, this little propeller right here will rotate in the water. It makes a, a plopping, splashing sound. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it makes a little, it makes a nice little plopping sound when it's in the water and that will call those fish up. You know, it basically gets their attention. They they have to investigate what it is. And like I said, this is a topwater lure. So those topwater blows, now they weren't no huge blows because again, we're not talking about big fish. But that blow up was so surprising. Like every fish that I caught, I was like a little kid all over. Uh, again, you know, blow-ups were awesome the fish they put up a really good fight um, I didn't lose one fish on this lure so 
it was really amazing. Again, this was a lure that I had not used a whole lot of. There are multiple companies. Uh, like I said, this one is a River to Seas. Uh, Berkeley has come out with one that they call the Chapo. And um, Guggen Squad has one that they call the, I believe they call it the Reaver. Their design is a little bit different. Instead of having the, 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 uh, the tail that rotates, like the River to Seas and the Berkeley, uh, Guggen Squad put their rotating piece in the middle of the lure to make it different. And now you don't have this propeller that could possibly interfere with your, your hookup. I didn't have any problems. Uh, Topwater lures, you want them to hit. You want to give them about a two second count, two to three second count. That's to give them time to turn and go back down. Plus your rod loads up and you're able to either just pull that rod into them or just start reeling and setting that hook. This was a really, really fun lure. Uh, at one point while we were out there fishing, um, I even let my middle daughter uh, throw it out and she caught one on it. She was super, super excited. Um, I'll post the pictures. I did get pictures. They're on my phone. So I will post those in this video somewhere so you guys can see the, uh, so you can see the fish. Um, actually, if you hold on just for one second. Okay, so I'm looking at this fish here. It's the first fish that I caught uh, while we were there. Like I said, he's a small little 11 inch fish. Uh, nothing big really, but it was an awesome, awesome bite. First one really took me by surprise and it was just really exciting to, to catch that fish. Now, uh, this was the second fish. No, wait, I'm sorry. The first fish that I was looking at there, I'm sorry. The first fish I was looking at, I actually caught that on a uh, Z-Man Z-Crawl, I believe. I was flipping Texas rig around some docks that they had out there, and I caught that fish. So... Okay, so this fish here, I'm gonna say again, about 11 inch fish, not real big. First one that I caught on this uh, whopper plopper, that was like an awesome bite. It took me by surprise. And again, the, the smile that was on my face because that was my first fish to catch with a whopper plopper. And I'm still kind of in that same area. It was like a little, little cove area. So I'm still throwing, caught another fish that was about 10 and a half inches. But again, it was the excitement of that fish blowing up on that lure and hitting it and me setting that hook and reeling it in. So then a few days later, I go back out. Uh, the one I'm looking at now probably was the biggest fish that I caught, maybe hit a full 12 inches. And I mean, he put up a good fight awesome awesome blow up um, as you can see in the picture here smiling like crazy it was just you know caught me off guard and I was having so much fun this area that I was in I kind of walked uh, where we were staying at had a golf course on the property and so I kind of walked down the course and found a nice little pocket it did have a lot of um, a lot of moss and stuff on the surface so that did kind of get in the way but I was making casts finding isolated little pockets that I could retrieve that lure through without any problems and the fish were just blowing up on it time and time again uh, here's another one that I caught that was about again probably 11 11 and a half inches long and you can see here the in the background is where I was at and the uh, the, the, the vegetation that's sitting on top of the water and stuff and again it wasn't a big issue for me because I was finding spots where I can make a cast and then retrieve the lure without any problems but it was like every one of those spots the fish were there and I was able to get them to 
uh, commit to a bike. And so it was just really fun. I am really looking forward to uh, to getting another one of these walker ploppers, uh, some different colors and such. Um, my setup, again, uh, this was a different reel that I had on here at the time, and we had found a Walmart. I bought some new line. I think I had got like some 12-pound uh, uh, Berkeley trialing, uh, nothing fancy. You know, it wasn't their 100% uh, fluorocarbon or anything like that. Um, for topwater stuff, I normally go with a 6-gill. Uh topwater rod that I have in the boat right now is a six gill. I want to say it's their Cypress and it's about a six, six foot or maybe six, 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 five, something like that. Because normally for my topwater stuff, I'm working uh, poppers and stuff like that. For this one, I would probably go with a seven foot medium heavy, uh, either braid or monofilament, something that's going to float and keep that bait. You don't want the line to sink down on you because that could hinder the bait's action and movement. So I would probably go with a braid and uh, or a monofilament. More than likely, you can throw this around grass. So I would probably go with a braid. Uh, if you want to do like a braid with a mono leader, just because you are dealing with treble hooks, and with that braid, it folds very easy. So you probably want that mono because it's a little bit stiffer and you don't have to worry about the lure folding back on itself. But at the same time, this isn't like a, a popper or a walking bait that's you're walking the dog with. This is gonna be a steady retrieve. So you could throw this on that braid. And since you're just doing a steady retrieve, reeling it back to the boat, then the braid will work just fine. Uh, probably, 50 65 pound braid maybe will get you get it done uh if you're throwing this around wood around docks some tree stumps stuff like that i would suggest going with a good uh abrasion fluorocarbon uh monofilament i'm not sure how good monofilament does around wood and stuff like that so i would probably do maybe a fluorocarbon with a mono leader you know, so that way, again, that mono floats. So you're keeping that line up on the water, but then you have that strength of that fluorocarbon to get that fish back to the boat without fear of breaking your line. But I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this. Um, like I said, it's a when this lure came out, just like any other lure, when it's a new product out, it's the, the talk of the lakes. And it has caught a lot of fish. I remember watching uh, one of the major league fishing tournaments. Uh, Bobby Lane was like wrecking them on whopper ploppers. And so it wasn't that I was ever against buying a whopper plopper or anything like that. I just never really thought about getting one. And I got one in my monster bass box. I tied it on and now I'm just sold on it completely. And now I have to go get me some more. So, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Whopper Plopper and, you know, how I did with it when I was out fishing uh, when we were on vacation. Really cool lure. I don't know who designed it. I don't know what gave them the inspiration behind the design. I'm glad that they did design it because this is a very awesome lure. So, uh, I know that was a quick video, but again, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that Whopper Plopper and share that with you guys. So um, if you like the channel, please smash that thumbs up button down there at the bottom. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you get notified, click it. Click the bell and then select all. That way, every time I put out a video, you will always get the, the notification that, hey, a new video has come out. Also, drop comments. Uh, drop comments if you guys have fished with the other size whopper ploppers or even the Berkeley Chapo or the uh, Guggen Reaver, I believe it is the name of it. If you fish with those, drop comments. Let me know what you think of those. Um, maybe one day I'll have to buy one of each and maybe do a comparison video on how they fish. What's the difference? What's the similarities? Things like that. You know, just let me know what you guys think. 
like I said, drop them down in that comment section and I'll try to answer those comments as well as try to get some videos out for you guys so you guys can uh, see me do a comparison of those lures. Uh, till the next time guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the great outdoors.